the genre of tragic romances has inspired artists for generations. A story and a poem of forbidden love inspired the creation of the two artworks that we will be discussing today. A painting by Nilima Sheikh from Maps Collection and 15th century folios from the Chaura Panchashika, an 11th century love poem. All over the world and in India, we have a tradition of illustrating text. The written word, be it religious or secular, poetry or prose, has forever captured the imagination of artists. Today, we look at a folio from a set of paintings which illustrate the Chora Panchachika, that is, the 50 love lyrics of a thief, composed by the Kashmiri poet Bilhana in the 11th century. This painting is part of the N.C. Mehta collection, housed at the Lalbhai Dalpadbhai Museum, Ahmedabad. Like Heer Ranja, the Chora Panchachika also tells the story of two lovers who face familial resistance. The story goes that the court poet Bilhana and the princess Champavati fall in love. When the king finds out, he is furious and orders the poet to be put to death. On the day of the execution, in order to fulfill his final wish, the king allows Bilhana to recite his 50 verses. The king is so pleased with the poetic compositions that he allows his daughter to marry Bilhana. This work, titled Drawing for Heer by the artist Nilima Sheikh, was influenced by the popular tale of Heer Ranja. While Varish Shah's rendition of the tale remains the most popular, it was originally believed to have been written by Damodar, a Punjabi poet. Nilima Sheikh provides us a contemporary rendering of this tale, reminding us how powerful these stories of love can be. Sheikh was born in 1945 in New Delhi, but is currently based in Baroda. Her works, which often blend text with image, address themes of displacement, belonging and ideas of femininity. The story of Heer Ranja remains an intrinsic part of Punjab's literary traditions. Ranja, the son of a Jat landlord, leaves his home in Takht Hazara following his father's death and a fight over family inheritance. He moves to a village and finds a job as a shepherd. Here he meets Heer, the daughter of his employer, and so begins their love story. Although they both belong to the same caste, Ranja's socio-economic standing becomes a cause for concern to Heer's family. They force her to marry a man of their choosing. But Heer's love remains unswayed. In order to protect the family honour, Heer is poisoned and Ranja, distraught at the sight of a dying Heer, consumes the poison too. Looking closely at the painting, we see that the text is copied on the top, leaving space in the horizontal format below. In all the paintings in this set, the name of the Nayak or the hero and Nayika, the heroine, are written in Devanagari. There is a lot of symbolic imagery used to depict the poet's thoughts. We see hand gestures showing consent, a carved Makara figure or the crocodile figure hoisting a flag which is a symbol of Kamadev, the god of love, a fly whisk, a symbol of passion and the empty bed highlighting separation, the lotus and lily flowers which convey the mood the verse invokes. If we examine the lower half of Sheikh's painting, we see red linear houses at the bottom left corner and seated figures who appear to be moaning at the bottom right. At the top right, we see Heer held back by her father and her mother. While her face is not visible, her stance exudes her stubborn anguish at being separated from Ranja. In the next sequence, we see Heer's lifeless body on the ground, accompanied by a figure in black, who is none other than her own mother. If we look closer at Heer's mother, we notice hints of red pigment, perhaps blood, evoking the violence that mars the story of love. Nilima Sheikh is not merely inspired by the romance of the tale, but also by the strength of a woman whose love defies community and patriarchal censure. Sheikh first became acutely aware of the story after watching Sheila Bhatia's operatic production of Heer Ranja in her early adolescence. She notes the irony, 
in that the songs of Heer and Sony are still sung in a land where honor killings and patriarchal norms continue to be rampant. Like Sheikh's painting, this folio also highlights the agony that accompanies the separation of lovers. The Nayak or hero, for example, stands with his hands outstretched, denoting the pain of being separated from Champavati. In the green-coloured compartment on the other side sits the heroine or Champavati with her finger of the right hand raised. This symbolises that she is the most beautiful of all, yet all alone. The golden lily in her hand represents her, while the open lotus signifies Bilhana, her estrangled lover. In terms of its pictorial style, many scholars debate whether there was a Mughal influence or whether its provenance is Gujarat or Rajasthan. But to us, Champavati's graceful and charming face shown in the side profile, the large oval eye, sharp projecting nose and often transparent veils. The gestural language, symbolic motives and flat background are all the defining features of this unique Chaura Panchachika style. The linearity of the houses possibly mirrors the rigid structure of the patriarchal society that Heer and Ranja inhabit. Moreover, the visual style of Sheikh's work is influenced by miniature paintings, not unlike the Chaura Panchashik folio. Sheikh's mode of narration and the scenes she chooses to represent pictorially amplify the violence and forced separation that accompany the tale. Unlike the story of Soni Mahiwal, Laila Majnu or Heer Ranja, which end tragically, this love story does take a turn for the better towards the end, or so we are told. As with Nilima Sheikh's work from MAPS collection, we see that love, especially if it is forbidden, is full of pathos, yearning, separation and often death. The characters of the hero and heroine transcend the story to embody a universal predicament. The battle of the individual against a repressive social structure in which patriarchy triumphs eventually. Yet such stories reside eternally in the hearts of romantics and continue to find expression in art forms over time.